guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing this week's Top 5 Wednesday. And I've never done that before because this channel is pretty brand new. But I decided that it would be really good to be able to tell you guys what I think in the in this week's topic. And then I can see what you guys think and we can kind of bond over that. And then that would be a really good way for me to get this channel out there and say hi to you guys. Because, you know, that's what this is all about. This week's topic is five books that intimidate you. I know that I just did the my intimidating TBR pile tag, but I've tried to veer away from that and look at different books that maybe you guys haven't seen before. Apart from one exception, because I could not put not put that on there because it's just so intimidating and so bad that I haven't read it. But yeah, let's get on with the books. The first book on my list is the book that I put also in my Intimidating TBR pile tag, and we're just gonna get it over with now, and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I cannot even explain to you how bad it is that I haven't read this book. You're probably gonna be really shocked, but yeah, I haven't finished the Harry Potter series yet, and the no nothing in tip oh, Maybe the hype intimidates me. I'm not quite sure what it is that does intimidate me about this book, but I just really want to get to it. I really want some time to be able to sit down and read this book and have a lot of time to dedicate to it so I can fly through it because I know that I will. I'm just trying to read other shorter books and books that I need to read for exams and things because, you know, two more months and I'm done and then I can read this. That's my plan. But yes, it is really, really bad that I haven't read this. And there is nothing else I can say to make this seem better because it's not. I don't actually listen to The Archers, by the way. This is my mum's mum. The next book that I have on my list is kind of a surprising one to those of you who know me. And that is Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I have, if you know me, I have been in love with Wicked since I was six years old. I, I, I found the musical, found the CD to the musical when I was six years old, and then I listened to it every single day without fail. And now I know the whole thing. I even know the words to the musical. I, I am in love with it. I've seen it three times and I'm only 16, but I plan to see it many, many, many more because this book means, this show means so much to me. And I have not read the book, the book series. And I bought this, this is actually a present to me, but I really, really want to read it. And I've picked it up so many times, but then like exams and whatnot gets in the way and I have to put it down again and I only get like 15 pages through but I know that I really really want to get to it because it's I feel so bad for not having read it because this book is what inspired the series and I'm just worried maybe that it won't be as good but a couple of my friends have read it and they said it was really good and I just want to be able to continue on with the series and then be able to learn more about the show and more about the world and more about everything because it has been such a part of my life for as long as I can remember. The third book that is on my list is a... <laughs> it's not a shocker, but it's very, very hyped and I'm... <laughs> I'm not intimidated, well I am intimidated because I want to love it as much as you guys do because I want to, I want to be able to fangirl with you guys but I, I think I, I, I know I will, it's just there's that slight doubt that I won't and that book is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I'm currently in the middle of City of Glass as well as The Light Tree but City of Glass is so, so good and Having to read this series with books in between has been really, really difficult. And by the way, my review of City of Ashes is coming out really soon. I'm sorry, I'm behind on reviews so badly, but I will catch up. And this book is meant to be 
this series is meant to be better than the Mortal Instruments and I know that I'm loving the Mortal Instruments right now. It is fantastic. It's one of my favourite series of all time. And I'm, only, I'm on the third book and I'm loving it so, so much. And I, th I can't wait to love this one too because I know that I will. But it's not even because it's long and it is quite a long series. The, the books are long but maybe it's just because of the hype. I don't know. That's probably it. The fourth book that is on my list is also a very hyped, very popular book. Also was mentioned in my intimidating TBR pile, but I thought I'd mention it here anyway because it's, it is intimidating. And that is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I read Soundless at the beginning of this year and I loved it. I thought it was really, really good and I cannot wait to dive into some more of Rochelle Mead because I really love fantasy. I really love fantasy set in high school and I just love the idea of having a long series that I can dive into and just marathon. So my plan is, for once my exams are finished, I am going to buy the rest of this series and I'm just going to have them by my bed. I'm going to get into my PJs and I'm not going to get out of them until I finish this book. I'm just going to have a marathon and just read this entire series because it's about time that I did that and reward myself. And I'm going to reward myself after my exams for the hard work. And the final book on my list is actually... It's... It's not an adult book. It's just not a young adult book. It's sort of a new adult book. And I don't read any new adult. But this one has had me really intrigued. But it's quite intimidating because of the subject matter. And that book is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. 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 And this book is about a brother and a, and a sister who fall in love. Uh, there's nothing much more I can really say about this book without because I don't know anything and I want to go into it blind but there's nothing more I can say that intimidate that makes me intimidated by it it's just the subject matter and it's something that I've never read before I've never read any new adult it's completely new to me so whilst I am really interested I am really intimidated at the same time because I want to love it because the author is so brave for writing something this obvious does that make sense? Let me know down below if you guys have read this one because I'd love to get some thoughts and gather some information before I can review it for myself. Alright guys, there you have it. There is my first Top 5 Wednesday. Let me know if you've done this one and let me so I can see what books you are itchy eyes. So I can see what books you are intimidated by and yeah, let me know down below any books that you need me to read in the future any videos you want me to make in the future if you need me to read any of these or if you've read any of these please comment down below just say hi i love talking to you guys and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys really soon with another video bye